Hey everyone, it's Blaine here with Pruden RV. Today we're going to be installing a slide topper fabric, complete with hardware. This is the old drip rail that was installed to help the slide out. Not going to be using that anymore. We're going to replace it with a new awning rail. Now we gotta make sure we get all that putty off. Try to get it as clean as we can. There's some silicone on there as well. So now I'm going to use some brake clean just to uh, get the area nice and clean for the new awning rail installation. Now you can use Varsol or mineral spirits, even soap and water works. If you're going to choose to use brake clean, just make sure it's non-chlorinated. Now we're going to put on putty sealant on the back of the awning rail, slide the awning rail onto the awning fabric, and then we're going to install some brackets. They're going to go on the end caps on the new slide topper. Now here's the wall brackets we're going to install on the slide out itself. There's screws that come in the hardware kit when you order the complete kit for a slot topper fabric. So there I'm just putting in the set screws that go on the outer plate uh, of the bracket that attaches to the sidewall of the slide out. And then we're going to get ready here to actually install the slide topper fabric.
So those screws are used to make sure the slide fabric doesn't slide inside the awning rail. We're just finishing up here. Watch for part two. We'll show you how to seal it up and then we'll, we'll test it out and see how good it works. <laughs>